Hello, my lovely ones. I hope you're having a good week wherever you are. And I hope you are ready for today's practice. Um, so we're going to start in a child's pose. So you might want to grab maybe a block or something to have underneath the face, but it's completely up to you. Um, but when you're ready, get yourself nice and comfy in your child's pose. Sometimes it's even nice to have something to sit on as well, um, because if those hips don't reach all the way down to the heels, it can sometimes be a little bit sort of uncomfortable for the hips. But you're just going to start maybe by bringing the big toes towards each other, letting the knees maybe separate slightly and just allowing the forehead to just melt down. You can either have the arms in front or have them alongside the body. Just take a moment here. Let's start to close the eyes. And let's start to tune into the breath. So let's just take some nice, lovely full inhales. Breathing into the belly. Filling up the rib cage, filling up the chest. And then exhaling chest, rib cage, finally squeezing the breath from the belly. And with every inhale, just feel the body rise up. Feel that expansion through your back. And every exhale, just try and ground the body down. See if you can release even more weight into the earth. And some of us won't find this space super comfortable. Some of us will. So just allowing yourself to exist here, allowing yourself to breathe even into those areas that don't feel quite as lovely in this space. Breathe especially into those areas. Finding your exhale, we surrender to those sensations. So we try not to shift them. We try not to change anything about ourselves. How would it feel just to acknowledge where we are today? And we breathe. We breathe sustenance into our body. We breathe life force, energy. Knowing that every single breath is different. No breath is the same. So you never experience the same moment, the same breath twice. And I want you to really embody that with this practice. Doesn't matter how many times we step on our mat, every time is different. Every single breath is one that we will never get back. So I invite you to enjoy each and every breath. Each and every sensation, each and every movement, exactly as you are. In these last couple of moments here, I'm going to invite you to set your intention for your practice. Letting it drop into the mind's eye. When you have that intention, take a really nice, long, deep inhale. And then exhale to release it. One more time, breathing in, letting it go. And then come back to your natural breath. Breathe through the length of the body. And then just start to wriggle the fingers and the toes. And then you're going to inhale, start to reach the arms forwards, ground through the palms. And then exhale, you're going to ripple forwards through your spine. You're going to roll all the way through so you can dip your hips, open up through the chest. Make sure you squeeze your glutes as you lower. And then exhale, we're going to press it back. Let's find child's pose. 
Good. Inhale, root through the palms, ripple forward, come into that cobra pose. Again, squeeze those glutes. Exhale to press it back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, root through the palms. Exhale, ripple through, open the chest, shoulder blades down the back. Good. Exhale, press it back. Let's find that child's pose. Inhale here. And then as we exhale, let's just roll up through the spine, come to kneeling, shoulders, and then head up last. And you might want to stay kneeling, or you could come to whatever seat feels good for you. We're going to start by bringing our fingertips to our shoulders and then kiss the elbows in center. Inhale to circle the elbows up nice and wide. Exhale, circle them down, round to center, kiss the elbows. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, down, round to center. One more time in this direction. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Kiss the elbows. And then opposite way. Inhale, circle wide. Exhale, up, round to center, kiss the elbows. Good. Couple more times. Inhale. And exhale. One more, inhaling and exhaling. Lovely, release your hands. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, roll them down the back. Good, one more time. Inhale, shrug them up. Exhale, roll them down the back. Beautiful. You're gonna to start to sweep your right arm to the sky. Bend the elbow, draw the fingertips down the back and then sweep your left arm up. Catch hold of that elbow. Maybe draw it down a bit further. Lift up through the head. Try not to flare the rib cage though. We're knitting it back in. Good. And then just keep breathing. Two more breaths. Last one. Good. Stay like this. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, leaning over to the left side. So breathing now into that right side of the rib cage. Take two more breaths. One more. Good. Inhale. And then exhale to lift back up. Inhale. And then exhale to release. Sweeping the fingers, interlace them behind the back. Inhale, scooting the fists. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Over to the left side. And then start to drop the head over towards that shoulder. Keep rolling the shoulder blades down the back and you could twist the head up or down until you find your sweet spot. And pausing here, two more breaths. One more. Good, inhale to lift the head up and then exhale to release. Inhale, we're gonna sweep that left arm up. Exhale, drop the fingertips down the back. Inhale, sweeping the right arm up. Exhale, we catch hold of the elbow. You can draw it down a little bit further perhaps and then draw the head into those arms. Shoulder blades rolling down. And again, we try not to flare the rib cage. Let's knit it back in. So slight engagement with the core. Good, breathing deeply. Two more breaths here. One more. Lovely, inhale. And then exhale, we're just gonna lean over towards that right side. And we breathe into the left side of the rib cage. Two breaths. One more. Good, inhale. And then exhale to lift back up. Inhale. And then exhale, we release the hands, sweep them behind the back and interlace the fingers. Let's draw those fists over towards that left side and let's drop the side of the face over towards the shoulder. Again, drop the shoulder blades down the back. You can tilt the head down or up until you find your sweet spot here. And we pause, three breaths. One more. Good, inhale, exhale to draw the head back up. Inhale to release those fists. Exhale, let's bring our hands in front of us and we find our tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Inhale to drop the belly, lift the chest of the tailbone. Exhale, round the spine, press the earth away, draw the belly in. 
Inhale, drop your belly, shine the heart space through. And then exhale, we round and we squeeze. Good, let's do that one more time. Inhale, let's open. And then exhale, let's round and squeeze. Inhale, come into a nice flat back. So I don't want you to move your spine here, but we're going to do a version for the shoulders of cat-cow. So you're going to inhale, just start to drop the chest down, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, press the earth away, spread those shoulder blades. Good, so inhale, dip it down, squeeze the shoulder blades. And then exhale, press away, open. Good, one more time like this. Inhale, drop, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, press away and open. And we're going to do that, but we're going to move here. So we're going to inhale, drop down, squeeze the shoulder blades, move forwards, and then exhale, press away, spread the shoulder blades. Good, move back. Inhale, dip down, squeeze, move forwards. Exhale, press up, sink back. Good, one more time this direction. Inhale, drop down, open up. Exhale, press away, spread opposite way so inhale forward squeeze the shoulder blades and then exhale back up spread inhale forwards down squeeze exhale back up and spread one more time inhale and exhale good come back into that nice flat spine inhale drop the belly lift the chest exhale round through the spine Inhale, flat back, and then exhale, let's tuck the toes under, find downward facing dog. So sweep those hips up and back, and then just start to maybe pedal, maybe wiggle, have a little bit of movement here as you just find that first downward dog. Keep pressing through those palms, spread through the fingers so you can root, especially through index finger and thumb. Allow that spine to lengthen towards the sky. Don't be afraid to have a little bend into those knees, just helping to create that extension. Heels melt towards the earth. Good. Let's find some stillness here. Let's take one more breath. Beautiful. Inhale, you're going to soften the knees, lift the gates. Exhale, walk your way nice and gently towards the top of your mat. Inhale, we're going to slide the hands to the shins, reach the crown of the head forward, flat back. Exhale, belly draws in, soften the knees, fold forwards and down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale to lift up and lengthen. Exhale to soften and fold. Inhale, knees stay soft. Exhale, let's just roll up through the spine, nice and gently, nice and slowly. Shoulders, then head up last. Inhale, let's reach the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands into prayer at heart center. Nice. So feet could be together or hip width apart. Totally up to you. Inhale, you're going to reach those arms to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward and fold with length through the spine. So soften those knees. Inhale, lifting up into your flat back. Exhaling, hands down. Step the right foot back. Drop down to the back knee and tuck those toes. Inhale, you're going to sweep the arms up. Let's find a low lunge. Exhale, relax the shoulders. So we squeeze the thighs, lengthen the tailbone, draw the belly in. Inhale. As you exhale, bend into your right arm and drop your fingertips down the back. Use your left hand to catch hold of the elbow. Maybe draw it down further. So I want you to inhale, lift up. Exhale, lean over towards the left side. Feel that nice big opening down that right side of the body. Two breaths. One more. Good. Inhale to lift up, extend the arms. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, tuck back, toes under, lift the knee. Exhale into a high plank position. Press the heels away, reach the heart space forwards. Inhale, exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. So squeezing the shoulder blades together as you lower. Inhale, slide through baby cobra, shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, lower, press back. Tuck toes. Downward dog. Steady inhale. Steady exhale. Good. One more here. Lovely. We're going to inhale. Soften the knees. Lift the gaze. Exhale. Step the right foot between the hands. Drop the back knee down. and tuck those toes. Inhale. Lifting up. Finding that low lunge. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. So squeeze the thighs, 
lengthen tailbone, draw the belly in. Inhale, and then as you exhale, I want you to bring your arms out in front of you. So right palm facing out, left palm in, and you're gonna hook your fingers. I'm gonna come over just so you can see. So we just hook our fingers and we're gonna pull really nice and tightly. So it's nice and strong here. So when you're ready, you're gonna inhale, reach those arms up and then exhale, drop the arms behind the back. Inhale, lift up and lengthen. And then exhale, drop the head back into the arms. Squeezing the shoulder blades together behind the back, lift up through your chest. Good, two more breaths. One more. Beautiful, inhale, release, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, tuck back, toes under, lift the knee. And then exhale, you're gonna step that left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, into your flat back. And then exhale to forward fold. Inhale, you're gonna sweep the arms wide, lift up with length through your spine. Exhale, hands into prayer at the heart. Good, inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, forward fold, lengthening all the way down. Inhale to lift up and lengthen flat back. Exhaling, hands down, step the left foot back. Drop down to the back knee and tuck those toes. Inhale, we're gonna lift on up, find low lunge. Exhale, soften shoulders. Squeeze the thighs, lengthen the tailbone, draw that navel in. Inhale, then as you exhale, bend into the left elbow, drop the fingertips down the back. Catch hold of the elbow with the right hand. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, let's lean over towards the right side. Keep the head dropping back into the arms. Good, two breaths. One more. Lovely, inhale, expanding up. Exhale, arms to the sky. Inhaling here, exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, tuck back, toes under, lift the knee. Exhale into a high plank position. Inhale, exhale, either knees, chest, chin, maybe chaturanga. Inhale, let's open up through the heart space. And then exhaling, downward facing dog. Lifting up and back. Steady inhale. Steady exhale. Good, one more here. Lovely, we're gonna inhale, soften the knees, lift the gaze. Exhale, step that left foot forward between the hands. Drop the back knee and tuck those toes. Inhale, reaching up, let's find that low lunge. Exhale, soften shoulders. Squeeze the thighs, lengthen the tailbone, draw the navel in. Good, okay, we're gonna inhale. Exhale, bring our arms out in front. Left palm out this time, right palm in. Hook your fingers, nice and strong. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, drop the hands behind the back. Inhale, expand, lift through the chest. Exhale, drop your head back into those arms. And again, try and squeeze those shoulder blades. Let's take another two breaths. One more. Good, inhale to release. Exhale, extend the arms high. Inhaling, and then exhale, hands to the earth. Inhale, tuck back, toes under, lift the knee. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, into a flat back. Exhale, we forward fold. Inhale, to sweep the arms wide, lift up nice long spines. And then exhale, hands into prayer at heart center. Good, you're gonna heel toe your feet about mat width apart. Let's turn those toes out in an angle. Hands come into Parat Heart Center, inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna sink into Malasana Squat. So we can stay a little bit higher. We could sink a little bit lower. We might lift our heels up. We might need to adjust our feet slightly because sometimes it doesn't feel quite so comfortable where they're positioned. We're gonna lift up through the chest, keep the shoulder blades down the back. Maybe we close our eyes here. We take three lovely breaths. One more. Good, maybe the eyes blink open. Inhale, hands down. Exhale, lift the hips high and heel toe the feet towards each other. Inhale into your flat back and then exhaling, hands come down. Step back into a high plank 
And it's your choice whether you want to flow or whether you want to skip it out. We meet in downward facing dog when we feel ready. Good. Arriving with a steady breath in and a steady breath out. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, drop to your knees. Find your tabletop position. Inhale, let's drop the belly, lift through the chest. Exhale, round the spine, press the earth away. Inhale, into your flat back. Let's keep the knees and the hips in one line. Exhale, let's walk the hands forward, melt into puppy pose. So let the heart space come down, the forehead, maybe the chest and the chin come down, only if that feels comfortable today. Try and soften those shoulders if you can. Surrender the chest to the earth. Good. Keep the belly active, so press the tops of the feet down. Let's take three breaths. One more. Good. So you're going to inhale, drop to your forearms. And then exhale, you're going to slide all the way through, coming onto the belly. Lovely. Releasing down. Bring your arms into your cactus position, elbows in line with the shoulders. Legs hip width apart, pubic bone pressing, core nice and active. Same with those glutes. Shoulder blades rolling down the back. Inhale. Exhale, float the legs, the arms and the chest. And we squeeze the shoulder blades together behind the back, lengthening the chest forward, the toes behind us. Good. Two more breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale to release all the way down. Maybe hands under the pillow, under the forehead for a pillow, or we can place one side of the face down. Give yourself a moment here just to release. Let yourself soften. Come back to your breath. Good. When you're ready, child's pose. Sink the hips, the heels. Release the forehead to the earth. And then when we're here, we're going to walk our hands over to the right side so they can come off your mat. Maybe you bring your left hand on top of the right. You just keep sinking the heels back and we breathe into that left side of the body. Let's take three breaths. One more. Good, inhale. And then exhale, walk your hands to center over to that left side. The hands might come off the mat. Maybe right hand comes on top of the left. And you just sink down into those hips. And we take three lovely breaths. Last one. Good. Inhale. And then exhale, walk the hands to center. Inhale, root through the palms. Exhale, return back to your tabletop. Inhale to open up the chest. Exhale to round through the spine. Inhale into a flat back. Keep those fingers spreading. Exhale, tuck toes. Downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. We're going to inhale, reach the right leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hips, split that dog. So try and kick your bum with your heel. Keep those shoulders nice and square for me. Good. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, let's draw the knee to the nose. Step the foot between the hands. Let's stay on the ball of the back foot. Inhale, we're going to rise on up, find crescent lunge. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Good. So we keep our hips square. Right hip back, left hip forward. But keep those inner thighs squeezing as well. So keep it nice, nice and active. Lengthen tailbone, glutes, belly active. Good. One more breath here. 
Inhale, exhale, drop your left fingertips down the back, using the right hand to catch the elbow. Inhale, expand, lift up. Exhale, lean over to the right side. Breathing all the way into that left side of the body. Two more breaths. One more. Inhale, exhale, return to center, release the arms to the sky. Good, inhale, exhale, open out warrior two. So you might need to shuffle those feet just slightly. Front heel, get just kind of roughly in line with the middle of the back foot, back toes turning in. Let's just sink into the front knee and really press it out to the side. Tailbone lengthening, glutes, belly strong. Good, two breaths. One more. Lovely. Inhale, flip front palm, reach forward. Exhale, let's lift up and behind us. Find our reverse warrior. Reaching up and over, breathe into the right side of the rib cage. Let's take two more breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale, return to center. Good, inhale. Exhale, let's extend through the front leg. Inhale, hips can draw back as you extend forwards. Exhale, let's drop that right hand down, left arm to the sky. Nice. Open into that top shoulder. Stay here, or we might bend into the elbow, draw the hand behind the back, reaching for lower back or for front thigh. Lean into that top shoulder, open the chest. Good. Two more breaths. One more. Lovely. Inhale, expand the left arm up. Exhale, press, lift all the way back up. Inhale, exhale, sink back into the front knee. Inhaling, exhale, sweep the arms behind you, interlace your fingers. Square the shoulders to the front. We're gonna inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, we're gonna dive down forwards, humble warrior. Let those arms drop up and over. Let the crown of the head just surrender to the earth. Keep squeezing the right hip back towards the midline. Good. Two more breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands down, frame the front foot. Inhale, back heel lifts. Exhale, high plank. And it's your choice whether you want to flow or whether you want to skip it out. We meet in Downward Dog when we're ready. Lovely inhale, lovely exhale. One more breath here. Good, inhale, exhale, drop down to your knees. Let's find that tabletop position once again. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, flat back. Let's keep those knees and hips in one line. Exhale, walk the hands forward. Melt into puppy pose. So chest sinks to the earth. Maybe the forehead comes down. Maybe the chest and the chin. But we just make sure we check in today with what feels right. Try and relax the shoulders. Keep the belly active. You could stay here or bring your hands into prayer. Bend the elbows and draw the prayer to the back of the neck. Take three breaths. One more. Good. Inhale, you're going to drop down to the forearms. And then exhale, you're going to ripple through, come all the way into your belly. Let's release down, sweep the arms behind us and interlace our fingers behind the back. Hips, or rather legs about hip width apart. Let's press the pubic bone down. Glutes, belly active, shoulder blades roll down the back. Inhale, exhale, float the legs, the arms and the chest. Arms reach up and behind us, heart space forwards. Good, two more breaths. One more. Inhale, exhale, release all the way down. Maybe hands into a pillow for the forehead. Maybe opposite side of the face comes down. You can relax your hips and your legs here. Take some lovely breaths. Mm. 
And then when you're ready, child's pose. Sink the hips to the heels, forehead melting down. Keep the shoulders and the face relaxed. Let's take three lovely steady breaths. One more. Good. Inhale, root through the palms. Exhale, return back to your tabletop. Inhale, drop that belly, lift the chest. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, into your flat back. Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Lift those hips up and back. Steady breath in. Steady breath out. One more here. Lovely. We're going to inhale, sweep the left leg to the sky. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hips, split the dog. Lifting through the knee, trying to kick the bum with the heel. And we try and draw those shoulders in one line. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Let's step the foot between the hands. Stay on the ball of the back foot. We're going to inhale, rise up. Let's find crescent lunge. Exhale, relax shoulders. Good. So inner thighs squeeze. We keep those hips in one line. Lengthening tailbone, glutes and belly strong. One breath like this. Inhale. Exhale, bend into the right arm. Drop the fingertips down the back. We're going to catch hold of that left, that elbow with the left hand. We're going to inhale, grow tall, and exhale, lean over to the right side. So breathe into that right side of the rib cage. Keep those hips square. And we take two more breaths. Good. Inhale, expand up. Exhale, arms to the sky. Inhaling. Exhale, open out warrior two. So shuffling those feet if you need to. Front heel, roughly in line with the middle of the back foot. Back toes turning in. Sink to the front knee, press it to the side. Lengthen the tailbone, glutes, belly active, expanding out. Good. Two more breaths. One more. Inhale, front palm flips, we extend forwards, and then exhale, we lift up and over. So right arm slides down the back leg, left arm extending up, and we breathe into that left side of the rib cage. Good, two more breaths. One more. Inhale, exhale, return back, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, let's extend through the front leg. Inhale, draw the hips back, extend forwards. Exhale, left hand drops down, right arm to the sky. Lengthen through that tailbone. So really feel that heart space sort of lengthen long. Good. We could stay here. We could bend the elbow, draw the hand behind the back. Reach for back or for the front thigh. Let's roll that top shoulder open. Good. Two more breaths. One more. Lovely. Inhale, expanding the arm up. Exhale, press all the way back up. Inhale, exhale, sink back into the front knee. Inhale, and then exhale, sweep the arms behind you. Interlace your fingers behind the back. Opposite interlace, if you can remember. Let's square the shoulders to the front. Inhale, shoulder blades down the back, lift the chest. And then exhale, bow yourself forward, humble warrior. Allow that uh, the arms just to drop up and over. Let the heart space melt down. Let's take another two breaths. One more. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands to the earth. Inhale, back heel lifts. Exhale, high plank. Your choice whether you flow or you skip it out. We meet in downward dog. And then when you arrive, Steady breath in, steady breath out. One more here. Good, inhale, exhale, tabletop. 
Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, let's round through the spine. Inhale, flat back, so knees and hips can stay in one line. Exhale, walk your hands forward, puppy pose. Your variation, maybe forehead, maybe chest and chin. Let the heart space melt down. Keep the belly active. Good, you can bring your hands into prayer. Maybe bring the prayer to the back of the head. Let's take three breaths. One more. Good, inhale, drop to the forearms. Exhale, glide through, finding that place on the belly. So we can stay with our variations, maybe with our cactus arms, maybe interlacing fingers, or maybe we go straight into bow pose, bend the legs, reaching round to catch hold of feet or ankles. Legs hip width distance apart, pubic bone pressing navel in, shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna press the feet into the hands and you open up through your chest. Good. Let's take three more breaths here. One more. Inhale, exhale, surrender down, releasing the feet gently. And you could bring your hands into a pillow for the forehead. Let your shoulders completely soften. Let the heels melt out. Breathing deeply. One more. Good. We're going to bring our right arm into a cactus position. It's going to drop down to the floor. I want you to bring your elbow about an inch higher than the shoulder. You're going to bend into the left leg, press through the left palm, roll all the way onto the right side of the body. And you're just going to feel that really quite strong opening into that right shoulder. So we might keep our left hand down. We might reach it up. Then the elbow, draw the hand behind the back. But really just tuning into what feels right, because this is quite a strong one. We can see if we can close the eyes now and just try and breathe into these spaces. Five deep breaths. Two more. Good, so we inhale, maybe bring the left hand back and then exhale, rolling onto the belly. Let's take a moment just to pause here, just allow your body to rest. And just taking a moment to process that right side. And then when you're ready, let's bring our left arm into that cactus position, elbow about an inch higher than the shoulder. Bend into the right leg, press through the right palm, and we roll onto that left side. Let's try and drop the left side of the face down. We either stay here with the right hand, we might extend it up and drop it behind the back. But we just choose what feels right for this side. We know it might be different to the other. Good, let's take some deep, deep breaths. Five more here. Two more. Good, so inhale, we might bring the right hand back. Exhale, we roll onto our bellies. And again, let's take a moment here. Let's just let that all integrate. Feeling from the left to the right, the body is now once again balanced. And then when you're ready, let's press into child's pose once again. Sink the hips to the heels, release the forehead down, shoulders soften, and just letting everything go.
three breaths. Good, inhale. And then exhale, roll up through the spine until you find a kneeling space. And then just scoot the hips over, bring your legs out in front of you. And you can shuffle towards the top of the mat. Let's start by opening the knees out and bring the soles of the feet together. And then perhaps we sit up on a block here if that helps to lengthen through the tailbone. We either clasp just above the ankles or we catch the feet. We're gonna inhale, lengthen through the spine as we exhale, we draw ourselves forwards with length. So imagine there's a piece of string pulling you from the heart space. Every inhale lengthening, every exhale softening. Belly can be slightly active here. We might close our eyes. Let's take another five breaths. Two more. Good, inhale to lift the chest. Exhale, lift all the way up. We use those hands to draw the knees up. And we just start to remove anything that we're sitting on, so any blocks. We're just gonna ground through the toes, extend the arms forwards, inhale. Exhale, we're just gonna roll on back for five. Breathing for four. We've got three, two, one. Release, hug your knees to your chest, give yourself a big squeeze and roll from side to side. Yeah, beautiful. Let's pause in center. Let's bring the left foot onto the floor. Let's flex the right foot and cross ankle on top of the knee. We might stay here, pressing the thigh away or draw the legs in and interlace fingers behind the left thigh, maybe the left shin, just depending on how the body feels. Let's keep the shoulders soft here if we can, keep the face relaxed. You could either stay in stillness or you can move gently from side to side. Let's take five deep breaths. Last two. Good, so inhale, release the fingers if you have them. Exhale to release the legs. And we just start to gently cross that right thigh on top of the left. And we could bump that left hip towards the middle of the mat as we guide the legs over towards the left side. And then right arm can extend out to the side, palm up. And you just let your shoulder blades soften down to the earth, maybe gazing to the sky or over the right shoulder. You might just close the eyes, breathe into the belly, breathe into the spine. Three more breaths. Inhale. And then exhale to draw the legs to center. Reset those hips, unravel the legs and hug them into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze little roll from side to side. And let's pause in center. Let's drop that right foot down. We'll flex the left foot and cross ankle on top of the knee. Again, we could stay there pressing left thigh away or draw the legs in, interlace fingers behind maybe the right thigh, the right shin. We remember that one side might feel very different to the other and that is okay. We find our edge today 
and we breathe into it. Let's take five breaths. Two more breaths. Good, so inhale, release the fingers if you have them. Exhale, we wrap that left thigh all the way on top of the right. Let's bump that right hip towards center and then guide the legs over towards the right side. And then the left arm can extend out at shoulder height palm up, shoulder blades dropping to the earth. We breathe into the belly, breathing into that lower spine. And just releasing here. Let's take three more breaths. Inhale, and then exhale to draw the legs to center. Reset the hips, unravel, and just hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. We're going to see if we can find happy baby. So separate the knees, flex the feet, lift the heels to the sky. Grabbing maybe backs of thighs, above the ankles, big toes, or outer blades of the feet. Let's sink the knees down, let the shoulders rest onto the earth. See if you can lengthen that tailbone down along your mat. Stay in stillness or have a little wriggle. Let's take three more breaths. Last one. Good, inhale, and then exhale to release. Hug your knees to your chest. Give yourself a final big squeeze, and then let's set up for Shavasana. Whether you just want to rest your feet on the floor, or whether you wish to have your legs nice and long along your mat. You can either bring those arms to the side, palms up, open or resting your arms on your body, grounding. Get any shuffles out of the way with the hips, with the shoulders, so that when you feel ready to really just let go, start to take a lovely long inhale. And exhale, release. Just allowing the whole body to melt into the earth. And you can just imagine that with every out breath, you're just sinking deeper and deeper down. And that the earth is just simply holding you, cleansing you. So you can let go of anything that you're holding on to and just give it to the earth. Knowing that the earth then transforms this into growth, into bloom.
Just starting to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And just taking a few deeper, longer breaths. Breathing prana, breathing energy all the way through the body. So that when you feel ready to reawaken, the fingers and the toes could wriggle. Your head could sway. You could take a full body stretch. And then eventually drawing the knees into the chest, give yourself a lovely big squeeze. Rolling mindfully onto the right hand side of the body. And then taking your time, seeing if you can keep your eyes closed. We press into a comfortable seat on our mat. Bring the hands together into prayer at heart center. And just allowing yourself to take a few deep breaths. Breathe through your spine. Breathe across your chest. Breathe into our shoulders. It's taking a moment here just to feel that expansion. Just to feel every breath that passes by knowing that each one is different. Knowing that we as people will constantly evolve and shift and change. So we are never the same. So for any moments that might feel a little bit rocky from time to time, we know that they will shift too that we will constantly be in flux. So we just allow ourselves to enjoy the ride. Take a long, deep breath in. And then exhale, just let it go. One more time, breathing in. Let it go. back to your breath come back to your intention carrying it with you for as long as you may need it and thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice Hariom Tatsat Namaste thank you so much my lovely one have the most beautiful rest of your day and I will see you all next time. Thank you.